Despite the proximity of the M6 motorway, Kiel remains a typical North Staffordshire village, barely three miles from the five towns immortalised by Arnold Bennett and known the world over as the Potteries. Blending unobtrusively with the village is the Hawthorns, one of the residential student halls of the University of Kiel. After the war, the University College of North Staffordshire, as it then was, started life as a few Nissen huts in proximity to Kiel Hall. But now it is Kiel University, and its buildings match its progress and its status. Kiel Hall is the focal point of the university, set in 650 acres of park, farm and woodland. Traffic from the potteries to Crewe passes through the village, but does not disturb its atmosphere of old world charm, with its cottages, its general store, and its local, the Sneed Arms, clustering round the triangle dominated by an ancient yew tree. Beneath the shadow of the yew are the university gates. Beyond, a tree-lined avenue directs the visitor's path. From the top of the hill, the Church of St. John the Baptist looks down on the university campus, the latest acquisition to its parish. Kiel presents many contrasting styles of architecture. The imposing library building is designed to hold over 600,000 volumes and has 750 places for readers. In addition to a wealth of manuscripts and ancient books, it possesses the extensive reprographic services that one would expect in a modern university. The Students' Union building houses a shop, bank and bar and is a centre for the social and recreational activities of the undergraduate and research student. The original Keel Hall, home of the Sneed family for over 350 years, was built in 1580. The present hall dates from 1860, the main features being in the Elizabethan style. The grounds abound with fine lawns, lakes and carefully planted woodland. Typical of the accommodation is the modern residential area known as the Hawthorns. This is a recently built estate of relatively small blocks of self-contained study bedrooms. A panorama reveals the old house from which the Hawthorns takes its name now an administration building, annealing the old with the new. People are taking advantage of the expanse of playing fields and the splendid sports centre. While cows graze contentedly in the meadows beneath the shadow of the observatory, 